good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching today's video. I'm back at boot camp. We actually, boot camp was actually canceled the entire week last week. Uh, Julia, our coach, had COVID. So she canceled Monday and Wednesday. And then I actually wasn't here on Friday, but she ended up having to cancel that as well, just so that she made sure she was healthy before she came back. So I haven't been to boot camp in a week. So I am very excited to be here. Luckily, I got some workouts in while I was at my reunion in Spokane. I am going to give you a reunion update. There was a little bit of a, there was quite a disaster with my reunion. So I'm going to tell you all about my trip a little bit later today, but I have my water. I have my bug spray. I have my weights, sweat rag, mat. I am ready to get my workout in. And honestly, I'm really excited about it. I have a nail appointment today. I desperately need to get my nails done. They are so grown out. I feel like they're on the verge of lifting. They're so grown out. So I'm excited to go to that. I'll take you guys along with me. Still kind of playing catch up from being gone at my reunion. So I have a busy day today. I do have a coaching call this morning. Let's see where the day takes us, but I'll be back for breakfast. So I just got home from boot camp. It was a disgusting sweaty mosquito filled workout and I did finish my protein coffee this morning before I went to boot camp so I'm going to have one of my clean simple eats clear protein drinks this is in orange tropical orange I love these 90 calories 20 grams of protein I'm actually going to sip on this while I get ready for the day I knew I know I said I'd see you at breakfast but I wanted to show that I am going to have this now these come and go in stock they're out of stock rather quickly when they come back into stock. So what I would recommend is you sign up to be notified when they're back in stock. I always share it as well on my Facebook group, in my Facebook group, on Instagram, on YouTube, when they come back in stock. So sign up, use my discount code, you can get 10% off, but I'm gonna sip on this while we get ready for the day. So when I share my OOTD, my outfit of the day, my entire outfit is from Amazon. So these are my favorite jean shorts that I discovered in my Amazon try-on haul that I did a while ago. I bought every single color of it. I have I love them and actually my shirt is also from Amazon I love the kind of rocker style of this it's flowy it's comfortable it's adorable I'll link them both for you so after the outfit of the day we're gonna make some breakfast and I'm really 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 craving an omelet I don't know why it just sounds really good so I'm going to make an egg white and full egg omelet so what I like to do is one full egg and then I like to do egg whites for added protein saves calories saves fat but I get in all of the protein and then by adding one whole egg I feel like like I'm getting a full egg omelet. It's just kind of a little cheater way to get an extra protein. And then I'm going to add some of these Jimmy Dean turkey crumbles. These are in my freezer and I'm really making a big effort to start working through what's in my freezer before we move. So using up all of these little things, I mean, there's literally that much left. I'm gonna weigh them out put them in my omelet with some light shredded cheese. And I have chives in my fridge. I don't want them to go bad. And I thought I would chop chives up and put them into my omelet. I'm gonna have a cutie as well. So that way I have a little bit of fruit with breakfast. So let me make up my omelet, put my breakfast back, put my breakfast together and I'll be back to share it with you. So here is my omelet. It looks so good, it's huge. It's actually bigger than I expected it to be. And then I have my little cutie. This is a perfect breakfast. We have lots of protein, some healthy fat. We've got some good healthy carbs in the fruit. So I'll go ahead and put all the information here on the screen for you. I just finished my breakfast. It was so good. I didn't even eat all my omelet, about 90% of it, but I wasn't able to finish it. It was so good and so filling. And now, as always, I'm going to mix up my post-workout supplement. I did take my Motivate Blaze pre-workout. So this is their newest pre-workout. It is amazing. Absolutely fantastic, amazing, life-changing when it comes to exercise. I don't care if you're walking, doing boot camp like I am, lifting weights. This is absolutely incredible. It offers pump, energy, and strength, and it is in the flavor fruit punch. I mix this up with a little bit of water before I work out every morning. It's sugar-free and aspartame free. It's made with all natural ingredients, no artificial flavors. It contains creatine as well as a creatine precursor, which just helps the creatine work even better. It has components for pump, endurance, focus, energy, and it mixes instantly in water with your handheld frother. You can even put it in a shaker bottle, shake it up. You can stir it up with a spoon. It mixes so well. One little scoop is going to give you everything you need as a pre-workout. What I also appreciate about it is it doesn't cause me to be overly sweaty and it doesn't give me that really tingly feeling either, but it ha but it's packed with so many amazing support features for a workout. This is the newest product to motivate. So many of you have reached out and said how much you love it. I love it. Like I said, I take it five to six times a week every single time I work out. I 
actually have this little trifecta that I take. I've been taking burn and recovery for a very long time. I've added blaze to the routine. Blaze and burn are very, very different. I'll pop up here on the screen the difference between the two. Blaze is what I take as a pre-workout. Burn is what I take throughout the day if I need a little boost of energy, focus, if I want a metabolism boost, support of fat loss. Burn is the way to go. It also comes in no stim. If you are sensitive to caffeine, the no stim burn is going to be caffeine free, but give you all of the benefits of burn. This is their new flavor, Icy Blue Raz, and it is so good. It tastes like blue raspberry slushies from 7-Eleven. It's so delicious. And then post-workout, immediately after I eat breakfast typically, so blaze before I work out, burn midday, this immediately after my workout, this is Motivate Recovery. So this is going to help you recover from your workout, give you an added boost of energy, help with muscle breakdown, soreness, fatigue, endurance, hydration. You can actually even take recovery while you're working out. Sometimes I'll sip on this when I'm at the gym, not when I'm at boot camp, but when I'm in the gym lifting weights. It's a great thing to have even while you're working out. I have the flavor fruit punch. It's my favorite. It's actually their newest flavor. So I'm going to mix this up in my cup of water, get going on my recovery for the day. And again, these three supplements have really changed my workout game. So blaze pre-workout, burn throughout the day for energy, metabolism boost, fat loss, and recovery during and after your workout for recovery. I'll link Motivate down below for you. I actually have a 20% discount. They're so generous and offer 20% off and you can get your hands on all these amazing supplements. So let's go ahead and mix up my fruit punch recovery post-workout. Before I head out the door, like I said, I'm going to have a quick morning snack. Since I did an omelet for breakfast with an orange, I'm going to do an English muffin with some peanut butter. I don't know why it just sounds really, really good. So I'm going to do one tablespoon of peanut butter. This is the Simple Truth Organic Nur No Stir peanut butter, and then these are just the plain Thomas English muffins. So I'm going to toast this up, put on my tablespoon of peanut butter, and that's going to be my morning snack. So here is my snack, my toasted English muffin, one tablespoon of peanut butter. All right, we are out running our errands. Our first stop is going to be the post office. I've got to mail off a couple packages, and then I just ordered ahead a brown sugar cinnamon shaken espresso from Starbucks. It just sounds really, really good. I haven't had one in a while. I really like that drink. So whenever I don't know what coffee I want, and I always have to bring a coffee when I get my nails done or when I get my toes done, I typically gravitate towards my brown sugar cinnamon, cinnamon shaken espresso. So we're gonna go and grab that. We'll see how much time we have before my appointment if I run any other errands, but first stop, post office. secured the coffee. Yum. I still have almost an hour before my appointment. I guess I left a little earlier than I needed. There is a TJ Maxx literally right there. And there's a Ross across the street and a Dollar Tree. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go to TJ Maxx since it's right there. I, I probably won't buy anything for our new house, but I do want to kind of look around, see what they have. I never leave TJ Maxx without something. So that'll kill a little bit of time getting some, get in some steps. Yeah, let's make a quick TJ Maxx run. Remember how I said I was just gonna go look? Remember that. First, I got this pan. I actually am in need of a larger saucepan, and I love the light gray, dark gray of this. It's from the brand Berghoff, and it is the Sarah Green nonstick covered saucepan. And like I said, I just wanted a bigger saucepan. I only have a small one, and then I have one with two handles, but not the actual saucepan style. $16.99, which I thought was a really good price. And this is the aesthetic, the colors of our new house. And then I got Sanders Thins. These are my favorite caramels. These are the milk chocolate sea salt caramels. These were $4.99 and you can have four of them for 120 calories. I usually just eat one or two and they're so incredibly good. And then I got 
got the Smart Bone Sweet Potato for Lola. She has to watch how much protein she's consuming. So anything sweet potato or that doesn't have a lot of protein is what I look for. And I always just check the crude protein and this only has 8%. Most of the dog treats are anywhere from like 15 to 20. So these are perfect for Lola and you know they love their special bones. And then I also got her the Peanut Butter Smart Sticks. Oh, those were $7.99, which is a really good deal. These were only $5.99 and the crude protein is 8%. So these are really good for Lola. Then I picked up some more ginger chews. I have these on hand for indigestion. If you're nauseous, they work amazing. I love to have these on hand. These were $3.49 and they are from the brand Chimes. That's actually my favorite brand for ginger chews and these are mango. Then I got two toothpaste. This is my favorite brand, Himalaya. Himalaya Botanic. They have the best toothpaste, all natural. This one is pomegranate. So I wasn't sure about that. I usually don't like fruity toothpaste. I prefer minty, but I grabbed it. We're going to try it. And then I got the cinnamon. These were $4.99 each. You also need a dog shampoo. Ours is 90% percent gone and we've been giving our dogs baths a little bit more regularly so I got this one this is the brand Scouts Honor probiotic shampoo it's honeysuckle it's a hundred percent natural with live topical probiotics and it smells really good it smells kind of fruity lightly floral and it was only $9.99 and then I bought two jars so in my new house I have a walk-in pantry and I want to organize my pantry kind of like I did at my house in Washington so I'm slowly going to pick up things for the pantry and I'll use them in our current house as well I got two jars I got this one and I love the light wood lid and it's just a screw-on lid it's a 40 ounce jar for $4.99 and then I got a bigger version I love this so much. Again, the screw on lid and these are from the brand Gourmet 99. So just a little bit more for a taller jar. They had more and I debated even picking up a few more, but we haven't even been to design yet for our house. So we don't even know what that's going to look like, but I know that I'll be able to use these, whether they sit on my counter or whether they end up in my pantry. But the aesthetic that we're going for, and I mentioned this in my video all about our house, is we're doing lighter, brighter woods, light woods, neutral colors, modern farmhouse kind of a vibe. So these are absolutely perfect. Actually, the girl at the checkout was like, those are the cutest jars. So she'll probably go buy the other ones I probably should have bought. And then I got two fall candles. I know. I know it's only July, but I love fall and I love the Sand and Fog and Sand and Paws brand. This is Haunted Harvest. Look how cute the lid is. $7.99. It smells like fall. Sweet, spicy, pumpkin-y, love. And then the other one I got is from Sand and Paws and it's a fall one too. I couldn't pass it up. Look at the lid. There's Frenchies on here. Look at the lid. They look like my little Palmer. This one was also $7.99. This is Sand and Paws and Jack-O-Lantern. Oh, so good. It makes me so excited for fall. Fall is my favorite time of year. I love Halloween. I just love the whole Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas time. And then lastly, I have been needing a basket for so long for the closet in my hallway because I have just random things thrown in there. It's where all my packages go that I need to send out, my beach towel, all the stuff I take to the gym, resistance bands, my little fanny pack. So I've been needing a basket for so long. I finally got one. This is so cute. It was $9.99. Love the dark wood and the light wood. Again, this will be perfect going into our new house. So that is my TJ Maxx haul. Now I need to get my little booty to my nail appointment. So here are my nails before. I love the bright neon yellow, but I'm going to do something completely different. Still summery, but completely different. All right, and here's the after. I just went with a really bright orange. I have orange on my toes too, so I thought that that would make the most sense. Something bright, something fun, a little bit more simple this time. The place I go to charges a lot for artwork, and the guy said he wasn't very good at it, so bright orange it is. So while I was getting my nails done, Troy texts and wants me to pick up Arby's for lunch, which actually is perfect. I didn't really have anything planned for lunch. I was thinking I would just do the real good chicken nuggets again, but Arby's has a really good chicken sandwich and they're two for six dollars I believe I usually just take the bun off and just eat the chicken and that's what Troy wants with some fries so I'm gonna make a quick run to Arby's before heading home and that'll be lunch so when I get home I'll show you exactly what I'm having for lunch all right so here's what I did with my chicken sandwich so I took the bun off scraped off the little bit of mayo and the lettuce I got just a couple of curly fries we actually ordered a large so Troy's gonna eat the rest 
and that's going to be my lunch. All right, so let me fill you in on my trip to Spokane, my 30 year reunion, and the disaster with my 30 year reunion. So I flew into Spokane Wednesday night. I actually didn't even get into Spokane until almost 9 p.m. on Wednesday. It was a long, long afternoon of flying. Once I got to Spokane, I had to go pick up my rental car. Well, there was a line at the rental car booth to the back of the airport. At least 20 people in line. There were two people working. I was the third, second, second person in line from the front. I stood in line for almost 40 minutes to get my rental car. By the time I got my rental car and got to my mom's, it was after 11 p.m. I was absolutely exhausted. I had been up since about 3.30 in the morning. It was my normal workout boot camp day. It was a very tiring evening. And as soon as I got to my mom's, I just went to bed. I was so, so tired. And then I got up Thursday morning. My mom and I went to Starbucks for coffee. I picked up some Premier Protein Shakes at the grocery store. I didn't check my luggage so I couldn't pack any protein shakes. I can't take them on the airplane. So we grabbed some Premier Protein Shakes. We had coffee and I got ready and went to Jazzercise. I used to do Jazzercise when I lived in Spokane and none of the people have seen me since I moved to Arizona and I've lost almost 100 pounds since I've seen them last. So they were quite surprised when I walked in the door and let me tell you, Jazzercise kicked my behind. It was so hard and I have a lot of endurance. I've built up my cardiovascular system and it was hard. I think it's just movements I typically don't do. It's a type of workout I don't typically do. It was hard, but it was really good, and it was so good to see everybody. After Jazzercise, I went back to my mom's shower, got ready for the day, and then my mom and I spent the entire day just hanging out. We drove all around town, looking at all of the old houses. We drove by the house Troy and I just moved from, the first house Troy and I bought, a couple of the houses I grew up in. And then we ate at Zips drive Through, which is this burger fries place in Washington. That's so good. It makes the, They make the best burgers and fries. So we had lunch and we just spent the whole afternoon together. And then that evening we went to dinner at a local Mexican restaurant with my mom's boyfriend, Dean, and then some of our family friends Mark and Carrie and again they haven't seen me since I moved they were like oh you're just a fraction of yourself you're so small so it was really fun to see them and catch up with everybody and then I went to bed because it was another long day it was an early morning and I still had to kind of make up from the night before flying in and a lack of sleep and Friday morning I got up and again got my protein coffee from Starbucks and picked up my friend Julie so my friend Julie I met when I attended Weight Watchers when I lived in Washington. She went to Weight Watchers and then she actually ended up being a low impact jazzercise instructor. So I started going to her classes and we just became really, really good friends. And she's really the one person that I've kept in pretty constant contact with since moving to Arizona. So we knew that we wanted to spend a little bit of time together Friday. She took some time off of work to hang out with me, which I very much appreciated. And I made her go to jazzercise with me. She didn't want to go. She does no longer teaches. She no longer goes to jazzercise, but I picked her up and we went together and it was so much fun. Again, the workout was so hard. In fact, my average heart rate was higher than it's been in years at Jazzercise. It was such an amazing workout and it was so fun to do it with Julie. I got to see more people that I used to work out with, a different instructor. It just filled my heart with a lot of joy to see everybody that I haven't seen since moving to Arizona. And then of course, after Jazzercise, we went out for coffee. We went to Starbucks and had coffee and then we stopped by her house and I got to see her new patio and a tour of her home. I've never actually seen the inside of her house, so I got to do that. And then I went back to my mom's house, showered, got ready and then it was a really special my best friend and I my best friend from high school and I didn't we kind of just grew apart after high school we ended up going to different colleges and we tried to stay in contact but really we just kind of grew apart and since college we periodically chat with each other online we haven't really seen each other well leading up to my reunion we've been talking a lot more so she actually messaged me and invited me to come over to her house she was putting together the flower centerpieces for our reunion and I thought this is a good opportunity for me to reconnect with her just catch up with her a lot has happened in her life a lot has happened in my life so after I got ready my mom and I went to 
Senior Froggies, which is a fast food Mexican restaurant. They make the most amazing soft meat burrito and they only have them in Washington. It's a local restaurant. That was one other place besides Zips that I wanted to visit when I was in town. So my mom and I quickly grabbed some lunch and then I went over to Erica's house for the afternoon. I spent about two and a half hours there before both her and myself had to get ready for the reunion that evening. And let me tell you how special it was to catch up with her. I really felt like no time had passed. We just kind of went right back to where we were in high school school and I feel like whatever distance we had between us kind of closed in and we reconnected and we have stayed in touch since. I'm hoping to see her more and more as the years go by. I definitely don't want us to grow back apart so I'm going to make an effort to stay in touch and it really just like I said warmed my heart. It really made me feel good to reconnect with her and she was such a special part of my life. I mean we were inseparable and I'm just grateful that we were able to reconnect and spend quality time together before the reunion. So after leaving Erica's house, I ran back to my mom's and quickly got ready, changed my clothes, did my hair, just freshened up my makeup, headed out the door to go to my reunion, and I got into my rental car. My rental car wouldn't start because it was missing the key. So I open up my purse and I take this little Buff Bunny Game Changer wallet. It's about this big and it's flat and I'm able to shove everything I need in there when I travel. I never take a full purse when I travel. Well, the rental car key wasn't in there. So I was like, what the heck? I had the key about an hour before when I left Erica's house, because the car wouldn't have started had I not had the key on me. So I started kind of looking around the car, looking under the seat, in the seat, the side of the seat, no key. So I ran back in the house and I told my mom, I don't know where the rental car key is. So she started searching upstairs. We were sitting on the couch chatting for a few minutes about Erica, my girlfriend, before I went downstairs to get ready. So she's looking upstairs, I'm looking downstairs. I literally look everywhere. I mean, I'm looking in places that the key wouldn't have never been, like my suitcase, my backpack cannot find the key anywhere. So I run back outside, start digging through the car again. My mom's looking all over the house. The reunion started at 5 p.m. It's now 5.15, cannot find the rental car key at all. So at this point, I'm like, I don't know what to do. I, I need the rental car key in order, number one, to get to the reunion, number two, to get to the airport. So I start texting Erica and my friend Curtis, who I've been friends with since fifth grade, and I told them, listen, I can't find the rental car key. Uh, give me some time to find it, I guess. Worst case scenario, I'll have to Uber down there. And they're like, you better show up. Like, we need you here, you better show up. So time is just passing. And like I said, the reunion started at five. So about 5.20, I call the rental car company. And I let them know that I lost the rental car key and asked what the procedure was. And they said that they would come and tow the rental car. He said that they don't have any extra keys. That doesn't make any sense. Of course, you have more than one key to a rental car. I mean, absolutely, that makes zero sense. But nonetheless, he says, we have to come and tow the car. We'll tow it back to the airport. When you get to the airport tomorrow, stop by the rental car desk and you're going to have to pay for a replacement key. Fantastic, fantastic. So I'm on the phone with them now about 5.30, 5.40. I've been on the phone with the rental car company my mom continues to look for the key. I'm extremely frustrated. I mean, I'm already super late. I'm about 20 minutes from the reunion. So I immediately book a lift and I'm like, well, I'll take a lift or an Uber down to the reunion and we'll figure this rental car key, expensive key replacement. I'm sure I'm going to have to pay when I get to the airport tomorrow. So I wait a few minutes, the lift shows up. I get in the car. I start kind of telling her what's going on and we start driving towards the reunion. We're about five minutes down the road and my mom calls and she found the key. So she said she went went down into my room and she kind of picked up some of the rugs in the room and she said, I'm just gonna look under the bed. And sure enough, the rental car key was under the bed, two feet under the bed. No idea how that happened. It must have come out of my little wallet purse. When it did, it just flung itself under the bed. So my mom found it. And then I'm in the lift and I'm like, well, I don't know what to do. Do I just take the lift down? And so I asked the driver, I said, would it be too much of a burden for you just to take me back to my mom's? I mean, we're literally five minutes down the road. And I told her, charge me for the entire ride. I'll tip you, charge me. It, I appreciate you coming to get me. So she, of course, just drove me back to my mom's and thank goodness my mom found the key. I immediately hopped in the rental car, made my way down to the reunion. I didn't get there till a little bit closer to 6 p.m. Made it and I found the rental car key and I didn't have to buy a replacement key. I didn't have to Uber from the reunion. I didn't have to Uber to the airport. Oh my gosh, it was so chaotic. I was so mad at myself for losing the key because I'm very organized. I'm very, very type A. That is absolutely unlike me. But regardless of the trauma and the chaos before the reunion, the reunion was amazing. 
it was amazing. It was so nice to see everybody. I went to my 10 year reunion, did not go to my 20 year reunion. So it's been 20 years since I've seen everybody. Erica was there. My friend Curtis, who I've been friends with since fifth grade was there. It was so good to reconnect with those two. I mean, I feel like not a minute has went by. Our friendship is rekindled. They want to come visit me in Arizona once we move into our new house. Erica and I have since talked. Curtis and I have since talked. In fact, Erica sent me an Instagram DM after the reunion that night and just said that she was really happy to see me and reconnect with me. She wishes that I live closer and she loves me. And that just seriously it was worth the entire trip because I have missed her and I've missed our friendship and I've missed my friend Curtis. I actually recently just reconnected with him. He just moved back to Spokane temporarily. He's actually considering potentially moving to Arizona. So it was really good. I got to see old friends that have become new friends. I will say, I will say that people looked very different. <laughs> I, most of the women looked really, really good. The men, the men looked old, old. It's crazy. Curtis and I were saying how we can't believe how old the men look. I mean, Curtis looks like a supermodel, so he was definitely the most handsome guy there, but the men looked so much older than the women. Now, some of the women ha are a little overweight now. Some of the women look a little bit older, but it was the men that I was truly surprised about, especially the more popular women and men. Those seem to be the ones that didn't necessarily age the best. So it was just interesting to see. And it was also interesting for everybody to see me because I have been, like I said, overweight most of my life. I was overweight almost all of my high school career. So people kept coming up to me being like, oh my gosh, you look amazing. You're glowing, you're so healthy, you're fit. It was fantastic. It was truly, truly fantastic. And I felt really good walking into that reunion. I have worked really hard, as you know, to shed 140 pounds and keep it off. And I wanted to strut my stuff, not gonna lie. I wanted to walk into that reunion with confidence and that's exactly what I did. It was just such an amazing evening. Everything about it from start to finish. And I will say that I did not leave the reunion until 10.45 p.m. And if you know, if you know, I go to bed at between seven and eight and I'm up at three or four every morning, I never, I repeat, never stay up till 10 or 11 p.m. I actually didn't get to bed till almost midnight on Friday night. And then my flight left at 8.20 in the morning on Sunday, on Saturday. So I got all of about four and a half, five hours of sleep. I was exhausted all the way home, but it was worth it. It was absolutely worth it. It was just an amazing time. The entire weekend was amazing. My heart is so full from the friendship, seeing my family, seeing our family friends going to Jazzercise, eating at my favorite restaurants I've missed. It was just a weekend filled with so much joy and I'm so grateful that I went. I'm so glad that I went. I wouldn't change a single thing. Even my mom texted me yesterday and she said that she went down into the room that I stayed in to wash all the bedding. She's got a girlfriend coming into town and she said, it still smells like your perfume and I miss you. So that was really sweet. She cried when I left. It was, it was an amazing weekend. I'm so, so, so glad that I went. I'm so glad that I went and my reunion was everything that I wanted it to be. So despite all the chaos leading up to the reunion, the trip went amazingly well and I'm, I'm really grateful I went. And actually Lola did really well when I was gone. We had one night of thunderstorms and she was scared, but Troy said she didn't mope around. She missed me, but she didn't mope around and she was so excited to see me when I got home and we've been attached at the hip since. So everything went really, really well. When it was all said and done, like I said, it was an amazing, amazing, amazing weekend. So I'm going to have a pretty small, simple afternoon snack since I had the Arby's chicken patty and some fries for lunch. I'm finally going to try those little Siggy protein packs that I bought at Sprouts. This is the blueberry pomegranate. It's 110 calories, 11 grams of protein. So that's pretty amazing. And it's supposed to be, I guess, like a smoothie. So you unscrew the lid. Smells good. Oh, it actually kind of looks like yogurt. It tastes like yogurt. Oh, that's good though. It actually tastes like Siggy's yogurt. That's nice. This is a really good on the go snack because it's just the squeezy pouch. This is the blueberry pomegranate. I picked up another flavor too. I'm excited about these. It's definitely more like a yogurt consistency. I was thinking it was more like a smoothie consistency, but it's basically just a squeezy yogurt. This is going to be perfect though and will get me 11 grams of protein. For dinner tonight, I am making meatball skillet with parm. So basically this is pasta and meatballs. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need Worcestershire sauce, minced garlic, breadcrumbs, light mozzarella cheese, 
marinara sauce of your choice. If you're on WW, just make sure it's a zero point marinara. A pound of 96 or 93% ground beef, fresh or dried basil, Parmesan cheese, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and pasta. I am using the Barilla Protein Plus Thin Spaghetti Pasta. I need to order some more Fiber Gourmet. That is on my list to do this week. So let's get started on dinner. So to get started on the meatballs, I added my pound of ground beef to my bowl. I'm going to add salt and pepper, garlic powder and onion powder, tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a big heaping scoop of minced garlic, half of a cup of Parmesan and half of a cup of breadcrumbs. I went ahead and grabbed out my large skillet and I'm going to mix the meatball mixture together, roll out the meatballs, throw them into the skillet. It really doesn't matter how many meatballs that you get, you'll just divide the number you have by the number of servings in the recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and get my meatballs on the stovetop. You want them cooked about 80% through. So I have the meatballs cooking, they're just about ready. I also have my pasta coming to a boil over here and we'll get the pasta fully cooked through. Once your meatballs are cooked about 80% through, we're going to add in 24 ounces of marinara. And I'm going to reduce the heat just a little bit because you want this to simmer and let that marinara warm through. And then we're topping the meatballs with one cup of light mozzarella. Let that melt and we're ready to plate up this meatball skillet. So here is what the meatballs look like. Topped it with a little bit of fresh basil. I'm going to go ahead and plate everything up and I'll be back to show you dinner. So here is dinner. I went ahead and topped it with some of the fresh basil. Smells good, looks good, true comfort food really. I'll go ahead and put all the information here on the screen for you. So for dessert tonight, I'm making a yogurt bowl. I've been kind of changing up my yogurt bowl a little bit. I mean, I use mainly the same things, but tonight I'm going to do a peach Chobani zero sugar Greek yogurt. I'm just trying to use up the yogurts I have in my fridge because I bought these before my trip. And then I'm out of fruit with the exception of cherries and the little mandarin oranges. So I'm actually going to use one of these banana and strawberry fruit crisps packs. I've been liking these because it adds a little crunch to my yogurt bowl. This is just dried fruit. So I count this as zero points. The entire package is 45 calories. And then I'm going to do a tablespoon of Chia Smash. I love Chia Smash. This one's actually almost gone. I buy these on Amazon. You get a six pack of six different flavors. I'll link them for you. And then Catalina Crunch uh, Maple Waffle. So I usually buy this on Nutrition. I also have a discount for Nutrition. So I'll put all the information in the description box. You can have a half of a cup for 110 calories and it's 11 grams of protein. But because I get a crunch from the fruit, I'm going to do a quarter cup of the Catalina Crunch. So let me put my yogurt bowl together and I'll show you dessert. On the run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now so that's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing everything I ate for the day, did a little bit of shopping, gave you an update on my reunion, and if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on, because I do a What I Eat in a Day every Wednesday, and I upload five videos each week. Down in the description box, you'll find my recipe website. That is where you will find tonight's dinner recipe, all the links for the products that I shared with you, my health and nutrition planner, if you haven't picked it up yet, all of the proceeds do better benefit Lola's chemotherapy. I'll have everything in the description box. Nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our free Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.